talk about this one a lot because for some reason it's still pretty less known uh, compared to the explode command which is not as useful so you can see in our drawing here we have these blocks so I'm going to select one and you can see in the properties this is a block uh, called rm number room number so each of our rooms has this number block you can double click on it to change the attribute but what if you don't want these blocks anymore or if, what if you need to edit one or you want to break them up for some reason this is a great way to do it and that is using the burst command so you can use the explode command but i'll show you what that does many people use the explode command but what it does is it breaks our block attribute so if you type in explode and hit enter you can see it just resets the text back to the default tag so it's going to be the number of the room now i've got this just attribute and i've also now got a polygon or rectangle around it so it breaks it up to its base pieces but you lose that uh, attribute value in it so there are a lot of reasons why you may need to burst or explode blocks within your drawings maybe you've inserted them and you want to change things or just a specific one or two customized but you don't want to lose those attributes maybe you've got like uh, borehole numbers or room numbers or square uh, footage numbers something inside of that block that you don't want to lose using the burst command so we're gonna select this block here type in burst and hit enter and you can see it's kept the attribute value so that's all this is going to do is it's going to keep the attributes and values of your block while also exploding or breaking it into its individual parts so I've got the polygon or rectangle here I've also got a piece of text but the value of this piece of text is now simply a text value of 6045 so you're not losing any of that value or data when you break these apart this is a great thing to do if you're say sending out drawings you don't want to send them your blocks but you do need to send all the data and line work so that's all for today's video 